Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and we are into JE Advanced Solutions Series and paper 2019 and it's a topic on surface tension and uh, there was a quite a bit of uh, um, debate about this particular question on surface tension, right? Uh, first things first, this is a very beautiful question which tests your multiple concepts of surface tension and as we move along uh, this solution, we, I'll try to introduce you to those particular concepts, revise them for you and also try to talk about the ambiguity, if at all there is any, in the key given by JE, okay? So as I keep saying, JE Advanced Solutions is the alpha and the omega of your profession, starting and the ending of your profession. So in case you are planning to write your JE examination this year, first things first you need to do in this last one or two months is to finish the uh, JE Advanced uh, previous papers at least last 10 years, okay? So on that note, let's move ahead and look at the question. Um, if you want to give it a try and in case you have not yet uh, seen this question before, I would request you earnestly to make sure that uh, try it for two minutes, pause the video here and then only go ahead with the concepts and the solution that I'm going to provide to you. Okay, so let's go ahead with the formal wording of the question. A cylindrical capillary tube of 0.2 millimeter radius is made by joining two capillaries T1 and T2 as you could see he labeled them of different materials having different water contact angles of 0 degrees and 60 degrees respectively. The capillary tube is dipped vertically in water in the two different con configurations case 1 and case 2 as shown in the figure. Which of the following options is or are correct and he has given some numerically important values okay right the options are written and again i keep saying you have to check whether all options are different cases or they are combined ones so that you will know the length of the solution so here you could see um, some of them especially the ones b c and d are related to a singular calculation so that should give you a motivation to go ahead with this particular question okay so um, he is talking about different uh, distances of this capillary joint from the water surface in two different cases and is asking to what height the water is going to rise. So the basic uh, idea of this particular question is to kind of calculate the height rise in this uh, um, hybrid capillary as we can call it. Okay, so let's move ahead with the concepts required. Okay, a lot of things on the screen. You just uh, take my cue and go step by step and just uh, try to concentrate on where I point on the screen. So this is something that a JE uh, aspirant should be knowing, even a student who reads NCRT, that first point that a capillary tube of insufficient, uh, sorry, sufficient length, if it's dipped in a liquid and if it's having an acute angle of contact, then the water is going to rise right over and above the outside surface and the pressure difference that is created high rho g h and 2t by r due to the uh, meniscus shape at this place should be equal to each other remember small r represents the radius of meniscus and capital r represents the radius of the capillary tube okay so if i if you carefully observe i uh, bring around h and r on one side and this is a very important expression i'll use in the third point 2t by rho g okay right so if i have even in the future that this particular tube is of insufficient length then this right hand side you could see t rho and and G are constants of the experiment and therefore this product remains constant okay right so this you keep in mind and further you also have this zoomed version of this meniscus here I have drawn and angle of contact is basically defined as the angle between the tangents as you know right one water surface tangent and one solid surface tangent and you'll get this theta and that theta can be marked even in this particular triangle okay so you could clearly see that r cos theta should be capital r or simply small r equal to capital r divided by cos theta which gives you that standard formula of 2t cos theta by rho g capital r where theta is the contact angle okay so this is something we know second one the correction in height you should understand when we are writing this number this height h is taken from the uh, bottom of the meniscus to this particular position that means there is some water that we have left out in the meniscus and that amount of water leads to the correction in the height calculation so this h that you calculate or this h you calculated is slightly 
uh, higher and you're supposed to subtract some number. And this depends on the volume of the water in the meniscus, right? So the volume of water that I could have drawn here, small shaded region, that is going to decide that. And which in turn, obviously, you could see depends on the contact angle. Second, very important point that you need to know. Now coming to the insufficient tube length logic. What uh, I'm going to put on the top of the slide, I, I, I'll keep this in our visibility, okay? So now imagine this tube has been pushed into the water so that the length is capital L, which is much smaller than H to which it would have risen. So uh, it's a famous question that people ask whether it will come out like a fountain or will, will it readjust? Remember this pushing is not done vigorously, but done slowly, okay? So then what actually happens is this shape of the meniscus from your r value small r radius will change to a new value of r prime okay right i'll prove that the value of theta therefore changes to theta prime you could see the tangents drawn here would not bear the same angle it will do so such that you will have again the new function that you'll write rho g capital l right height this thing and 2t divided by new value of r prime and you rearrange again the product should remain constant so the old product of h into r and the new product of the insufficient capital l into r prime should match with each other and if l starts reducing r prime starts becoming more and more flat and increasing and but never it will come out and when l tends to zero r prime tends to infinity being a flat surface which is very clear which tells you in an inch of insufficient length water as is not actually Actually going to blurt out or surpass this particular position so what actually that also means is that in an insufficient situation the value of this r prime which in turn decides contact angle therefore the correction value also changes okay so keep all these things in mind as we move along the options of the question so this is our question that is given so i have borrowed the uh, values uh, that are given in the question and I'm saying that if T1 tube that is this T1 tube was sufficient and alone in an experiment you would just try to calculate uh, the value of that H1 uh, which it would have risen which comes out to be 7.5 you should trust me on this calculation right? simple one and similarly for H2 that is if T2 was alone and you had provided sufficient height for the tube then water risen in that would be 3.75 exactly half of that the way the values are given this cos theta is cost 60 i think right that's why you get that half factor now look at the options i'll deal with the option a a for ambiguity in the next page so let's go for b c and d first okay so in option b he's talking about case 2 and he's talking about a capillary joint five centimeters above which means it's much higher than this h2 which we got that means does it count as a sufficient height case yes right therefore the height will definitely rise only up till 3.75 so b seems to be a correct answer okay right and for case one if the joint is kept at eight centimeters now eight centimeters is well above this 7.5 stuff right so even in option c case one it is sufficient height therefore height reason will be up till 7.5 Okay, right. Points to note is in brackets of these two and the third option, he mentions the neglect the weight of water in meniscus, which means this formula is valid. No need to correct these values. Okay, right. In case D, the, uh, um, um, in contrast, when case one is taken, right, so that is this case, the capillary joint is five centimeter above the water surface, right? So only five centimeter above is actually smaller. So that is a case of insufficient height. Okay, even though it's insufficient height, we have already seen that the water curvature will adjust itself and water will stay at this insufficient 5 centimeters and the height of water will not be more than 8.75 so that's this option d would be wrong okay so let me mark off the options that we got till now i think b was right c was right d was wrong now coming to the option a the uh, ambiguity that we are going to discuss right uh, correction in height of water column raised in the tube due to weight of water contained in the meniscus will be different for both cases so case one and case two he's saying that the correction should be different which mean in turn means the angle of contact should be different okay on the face value of it iit gave this key and i think they what they were suggesting is they are talking about the zero degree and 60 degree situation and therefore the answer was coming out to be a but since option d also is mentioned there could be a case in which in one of the cases it is insufficient and the angle of contact could be changed so let's investigate that special case and talk about the ambiguity 
So this is the option A ambiguity I'm going to deal with. Again, the, the top part is just borrowed values of that 7.5 and 3.75 for our correction. So this is the option A that we are looking at. Now let's consider a special case, okay? Right, in case two, if I provide sufficient height, case two, if I provide sufficient height, I end up getting the usual contact angle of 60 degrees. And you remember small r is capital R by cos theta, I'll get two capital R. Now what I'll do is in case one, I'll not provide sufficient height. So, and I'll take this capital in such a way that it is half of this number. That, one, that means I'll match this 7.5 to this 3.75. Okay, so I hope you're getting this point. Now, then the value of this that product rule that I have, this capital L into the new value of R prime in case one would be H1 into R. And then this cancellation takes place and I end up getting two small r. And you remember uh, the small r of case one is related to a theta of zero degrees. Therefore, small r prime in case one also I can make it two capital R. I hope you're understanding. So a lot of students and do in those days when they wrote the exam, they come out saying that I can manage a case in which uh, the case two and case one's angle of contacts will become same or the meniscus radius becomes same. So in this special case, we obtain the same correction. So if I read this option carefully, right? So there is some kind of confusion whether students should go for this option or not. So let's read it again. Correction in the height of water column raised in the tube due to weight of water contained in the meniscus will be different for both cases. So the point or the intention of the examiner here is to ask in general okay right so but also students have got a point where because i find one case i should not be say saying will be different so my advice as a uh, teacher in such problems is you first of all consider general case and try to mark it or because this is partial marking question my suggestion is play safe don't mark this option you have already got some marks for b and c options and therefore uh, you should go ahead with your gut feeling on that particular day okay so if i were a student i would have actually left option a and settled for two partial markings because iitje advance is not always about the scoring of full marks okay right so let's go back and then mark the key given for the um, je was with a but i would say that a is not completely all right and i would have gone ahead with only b and c and picked up the partial markings for this question so it's all up to you it's opinion based you may not agree with me but that's what my opinion in this question is all about okay so um, in case you uh, like this, there is other questions that I have discussed. This is a new series, so you will not get too many questions, but I'm planning to uh, get to many questions uh, which were uh, debated and tough questions and the ones which are having good concepts. Uh, so I keep saying it's the alpha and omega of your preparation. So please don't ignore this part. Try to do your JE advanced solutions and keep suggesting in the comments some of the important questions that you want to actually take me up. Okay, so I've already got some suggestions. So I'm going to line them up in the coming weeks. Apart from this, there are other series running in this channel, Pathfinder Solutions, Olympiad Workout Series, AITS Select Series and Result Series. What they are and what uh, they will be, uh, you can find out in the links in the playlist um, uh, in the description below. So please go, go through them. You will not be disappointed. And in case you are not, please do like share and subscribe to my channel and try to spread it across different people try to bring in more people so that we can have healthy discussions in the comment sections and please try to let me know uh, what do you feel about these series that are going on in the comment section and uh, um, i would try to help you as much as possible before the exam okay um, thank you and stay with me and see you in the next video